Vanaf de beurs Offshore Energy in Amsterdam presenteren we een aantal innovatieve projecten, een aantal innovatieve bedrijven die we ook graag belichten voor een groot publiek. En dat gaan we in dit geval doen in de vorm van een ronde tafel. En de drie deelnemers aan die ronde tafel zullen zich zo meteen voorstellen. De spreektaal tijdens de ronde tafel zal Engels zijn. So please could you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Irina Bierman. My name is Maxim Razumov. Jelena Medvedeva. Okay, and please uh, tell me uh, shortly what your um, job is, what you are doing for uh, the companies. First of all, we will start with our mother company. Uh, yeah, um, let me introduce our mother company. Uh, I am represented in the company, the Ruscon. Uh, Ruscon is the multimodal provider uh, of the logistics services, uh, who is originally uh, based in the Russia. It's a part of the big holding, the big holding Dell Group, uh, who has different kind of the assets. Uh, it's uh, the Steven Dorin business originally with the mother terminals on the northwest in St. Petersburg, in the south, in the Novorossiysk, and in the far east in Vostochny. Uh, it's one of direction, the Steven Dorin business. Another business is the uh, rail car operational business. It's the company who is also in our holding, the Transcontainer, uh, who is the hugest uh, company in Russia Federation with the volume of uh, 38,000 rail cars, around 80,000 of the containers, uh, with the uh, 40 terminals uh, located in the different uh, big cities of the Russia. Uh, starting from the north and up to the uh, south and far east. And uh, uh, our company, the Ruscon, uh, also the part of this holding of the Dela group. And our target and our main purpose is uh, to use all these assets and provide for our customers, uh, the consignees and the shippers, uh, the 3PL and 4PL uh, logistic uh, service. Yeah with, with all, all these uh, assets. And also Ruscon uh, have its own terminals uh, located in the Far East, uh, in the uh, South, uh, and uh, in the Moscow region. Okay. And where's the headquarter based? Pardon? In what city is your headquarter uh, based? Our company originally uh, headquarter in Novorossiysk, uh, but now uh, we are developing quite uh, smoothly and we have uh, a lot of big uh, branches. Uh, I'm represented in the Moscow branch. It's uh, the second biggest uh, uh, office uh, in, our, in our company. Okay, just behind my back is uh, the, the place where Smart Containers is pre presenting itself. Could you tell me a, bit, a little bit more about Smart Containers? Smart Containers, it's a new company on the Dutch market. We are a Dutch company. We uh, established 2020 in a um, uh, not so nice situation with all of this pandemic uh, uh, going, but uh, um, our mother company uh, decided to go further and make a step in Europe. That's why we are here and Smart Container, it's a, a representative uh, Company, it's not office, it's company who is developing new products, inno innovation products, and also we are present uh, sustainable mobility project. And sustainable and this, this fair? Uh... That's why we are here on this fair because our logistic developing is supporting of all of this offshore energy. Yeah. You know that's a lot of energy project in Russia, but this project connect also with Netherlands. We help Pascalis, we help uh, all of these big companies to provide their cargo to special project in Russia. That's why we are here to offer them new product, sustainable mobility. And uh, you are working for the Chamber of Commerce. Um, what was yes. your role in this, uh, in this new company and bringing them to Holland? Yes, thank you for the question. I just briefly introduce again myself. Uh, I am a regional representative of the Chamber of Commerce of the Russian Federation. Uh, and I am uh, based in Brussels. I mean our representation office based in Brussels, covering the activities in Benelux and France. Yeah. So I am here uh, to support, and actually I am very proud uh, for our colleague from Novorossiysk, uh, from Smart Container, uh, who launched uh, such a great project, uh, also in line with the green agenda. 
And um, we are, as the Chambers of Commerce, you know, the Chambers of Commerce is for the businesses. Yep. So we uh, fully support uh, those enterprises uh, who are actively looking for their options at, um, you know, to export their products, to make the cooperation with the foreign partners uh, to be in line with the grid agenda also yep. of the European Union, to make the business more sustainable, more in line with the green uh, targets. Yes. So you see this project is really, you know, in a top <laughs> of top uh, in logistic. Uh, yep. We hope uh, that uh, we will uh, be developing such projects more and more and the chamber of commerce of course it's like a, a supportive umbrella for all enterprises uh, similar to yeah. ruscon who are willing to you know to step into the netherlands and we are here to help yeah. to so, assist so how was smart container doing in your first two years here yes it was uh, not easy no. <laughs> that's why we of course working online it was locked down, but it was a really good connection with our uh, uh, company in Russia, with our all colleagues. Uh, we are happy that it, it was possibility to come from Moscow, our colleague, Maxim, because uh, we need power, and the power is our mother company in Moscow. Yeah. Yes, but uh, uh, nevertheless, we create a good network with our providers here. We're yeah. using Dutch infrastructure. We have three nice partners. Tomorrow we'll be launch our first train to corridor from Netherlands to Moscow. Yeah. And uh, we are happy that uh, very nice companies from Rotterdam, it's RSC terminal, yeah. and also a very nice company for, from Tilburg, GVT, participate in our project and support us. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about the, 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 the rail project? Pardon? The, the new rail corridor? Could you yes. El elaborate on yes. Maybe how, how it goes? So yeah, what uh, yeah, originally uh, the idea, first of all, of this uh, new corridor uh, to connect directly the Netherlands and also the Benelux uh, with the Moscow because uh, uh, that's what we import because we have a lot of the traffic originally which is moving by the cars and by the uh, vessels. Uh, but now what we see that, uh, first of all, there is the policy of the Netherlands to, um, to take out the, uh, and to reduce the, the uh, CO2 uh, and uh, also the quantity of, of the uh, automotive which is moving. Uh, this is one of the ideas why we decided to move this uh, project. And another one, uh, we see that this is the alternative which uh, allow to the customers uh, to guarantee uh, the transit time. Uh, the, the train will go through the uh, Netherlands, Germany, then Poland, uh, Belarus, and then uh, uh, transfer in, uh, uh, will be reloaded in the border uh, between Belarus uh, and uh, Poland, uh, and then delivered uh, by other, our uh, big brother trans container, uh, company who is in our holding, they will be reloaded to the platforms and uh, um, moved to the Moscow by these rail cars. Well, I would like to edit um, uh, uh, some uh, information that this is a corridor. Uh -huh. It means that it's service. It means that uh, it's a, a service for all of cargo owners and all of logistic forwarding companies to yeah. join this train. It means, yes, it's great to find nice uh, one uh, customer and and going with this train just only one customer but we create corridor it means yep. that you are welcome with your cargo we are survive and uh, support you to deliver this cargo to moscow and back to new zealand yep. e economically um, we see that it's a lot of developing of uh, russian entrepreneurs and uh, big companies who create now a lot of export goods to Europe. Yeah. This train also help uh, these uh, entrepreneurs and uh, companies to deliver uh, security, safety and most sustainable these uh, goods to Europe. Yeah. So it's very good for us. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a very good business case actually can be sample of this new type of mobility which may be spread and copied also worldwide and uh, it will influence positively definitely uh, for their trade relations in between Netherlands and Russia in which we believe 
So here we are, here we have these uh, nice options now. So we are more safely now uh, equipped, I would say, by the logistics uh, while trading in between our yep. countries. So uh, Chambre de Commerce, uh, Chamber of Commerce, we really, you know, appreciate all efforts done by uh, the Ruscon company and our colleague uh, in uh, the Netherlands, uh, which, uh, you know, made a lot of efforts uh, to make it workable. Yeah. And tomorrow we would be happy to launch the first train, this yeah. which, is, uh, which is the start, uh, and then we will see how to expand it. Yeah. And uh, what will be the frequency of the train? Uh, it's a train, uh, European um, size, 40 foot containers, 40, 40 feet. Uh, 40 feet. Uh, and uh, this is a uh, train going uh, by European part uh, one and a half day to uh, Brest and then uh, uh, four uh, days to uh, Moscow. Also, we have uh, terminal operating. It's uh, usually technology which already working here already five and more years because it's a lot of trains from China, from Netherlands yep. going uh, by the, our partners. But what we would like to say, we, uh, we, we would like to give a message uh, Dutch market, all of our colleagues here on uh, uh, this ex exhibition, that we are present here, Russian company. Yeah. They are our colleagues in Moscow, yeah. but we are here. And uh, welcome, make a, a message for us. Make your order or just ask us yeah. how it's going, and we will show you all of this uh, Black dot, who, who, who now in the mind of Dutch people, will be white, will be clear, and yeah. our colleagues will be show them online, maybe invited in Moscow, all of these terminals, all of these uh, uh, colleagues who is doing custom clearance, uh, termination operation, last mile, yeah. everything in one uh, hands of our uh, Ruscon group. Yeah. Yeah, what I would like to, to add to, to what um, Irina said, uh, actually um, we want to make this uh, project uh, like uh, the public one, uh, available for, for everybody. Uh, for example, I want to go from uh, uh, Amsterdam to, to the Brussels and I just book, uh, take the ticket to the train. Yeah. So it should be like this. Uh, any customer can sign a forwarder. Uh, any company can uh, can use this uh, uh, the public uh, train, uh, and uh, we think that uh, this uh, uh, should boom a lot because uh, we have experience. I mean, the Russia have experience with a similar project uh, connecting Germany and Russia. That's why uh, this uh, connect this new. Uh, bridge connecting Netherlands and uh, and Russia uh, should be very popular. And uh, what what Irina said, uh, there are some uh, really black dots which uh, uh, people don't know. I mean, local people don't know because uh, uh, somebody maybe didn't work with Russia before. Uh, but we talked with some customers, and we think that. Uh, uh, in most of the cases, the questions and the worries of the people are quite similar. That's why by launching this project, we want uh, to make it clear for everybody that uh, it's, it's open, it's uh, uh, easy uh, way and uh, easy connection, just use it. You are welcome. Yeah, so you, you might it's like uh, it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I definitely like it. And uh, I think it's not only efficient, but also it's a new type of the logistic corridor. And as far as we know, in the European Union, we are for diversification. So it's one more choice to reach uh, Russia, to reach central type of Russia by this uh, type of the transportation, which is uh, which goes according to the European standards. So that's, uh, I think, uh, quite favorable uh, yeah. for the potential Dutch clients to use this opportunity. Also economically affordable and comparable with other routes. So uh, let's uh, make it, uh, you know, as a, yeah. as a part of the trade. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's how we 
should deal. Yeah. And then, as we know, uh, in, in, uh, in the Netherlands, we have a lot of good practices. So let's introduce and <laughs> let's introduce it in the whole complex of uh, project development, including system of logistics and mobility. Let's, yeah. uh, that's, I think, one of the first and good examples we have. That's mm -hmm. why we are, we, we'd like to focus uh, the attention of the potential Dutch customers and the Russian customers as well for the existence of such opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are at the end of October almost. Um, what do we expect from the, the new year, 2022, for each of <laughs> yeah. you? Hopefully, we, all of us will be survive and uh, healthy. Yeah. And um, uh, hopefully all of our colleagues in uh, Russia can now doing their job normally because Russia now um, it's uh, uh, going some kind of holidays, uh, unexpected holidays uh, uh, regarding uh, this situation. Yeah. But uh, what we see now, this train, it's interesting because um, uh, regarding uh, this uh, flow of uh, 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 trucks uh, to yeah. Belarus, uh, chauffeur, uh, driver, has to be following all rural immigration from Germany, from Poland, from Belarus, from Russia. And it stock a lot of uh, trucks on the board. Yeah. This train gave possibility switch of 40 trucks from the road one, yeah. one time, yeah. switch of 40 drivers from the road, yeah. make people security, make people healthy, don't make a risk to go through the border, but cargo will yeah. go. Right. Yeah, just one set of documents for the whole cargo. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. also administration, uh, you know, simplification, so you won't, I would say. You won't transport trailers as containers? No, containers. no, we, we will uh, the, the transport containers, but uh, um, cargo the same size it's, uh, as yeah, the okay. trails, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah and asking, on your, asking your question about what we expect, uh, in the Russia we see that uh, the transit cargo going from the China to Europe and uh, backwards, uh, it's uh, increasing. The volume's increasing uh, quite a lot. Uh, we're checking the statistics every month and we see very high figures, uh, how, how it's increased. A lot of the cargo containerized. containerized. And we expect that uh, uh, this uh, route uh, between uh, Europe and Moscow uh, and also the new routes between uh, European part and the China, they will uh, uh, be increasing, the volumes will, will be increasing and uh, it will continually grow uh, and, and reach higher and higher figures. So this, the, the Russia will be not only the uh, country who imports cargo, but it will also uh, transit uh, country. Turning yes. point. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it will be a good uh, alternative for the traditional route uh, which goes by the sea uh, because this is uh, faster, uh, this is uh, cheaper, this is uh, more uh, regular transit time yeah. because uh, not too many port of calls, yeah. uh, not too many factors which can... Uh, and sustainable. Limit. Yes, yeah. and sustainable. Yeah. And also I, more ecological. 2022. 22. Well, actually, I would remind that uh, chamber, maybe just not to in remind, yeah, but, but inform that uh, Chamber of Commerce of the Russian Federation, it's a huge network. It's 180 regional and territorial chambers uh, all together. So what we actually expect that we will be, uh, of course, more open next year also for traveling. We will get more business missions uh, also to the Netherlands. Uh, many businessmen and all projects uh, which might be, you know, interesting from... Uh, the Dutch side, uh, we would be happy to present, yep. uh, and uh, we will be keeping the open doors uh, policy uh, for our representation offices because uh, chambers are out of politics, uh, and we are for business. We yep. really believe that uh, uh, by such a good example of the cooperation between the Netherlands and uh, the and the Russian Federation, we will promote uh, the successful trade. You know. And also, we will learn from each other on how to how to make business yeah, successfully. Uh, regarding the Chamber of Commerce, uh, uh, to, to, to what? We are logistic. We are use uh, service of Chamber of Commerce because all of uh, cargo going from Russia with special certificate, certificate of origin, mm -hmm. and this certificate is for import from Russia. And uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, issued this certificate for all goods which going from. It's very important connection. It's, it's important the... function, definitely, Irina, thanks a lot. I also would like just to mention that 
uh, Chamber of Commerce also include export possibilities. You know, uh, Expo Center is one uh, of the major export uh, premises in yeah. Moscow, so all Dutch companies are very welcome for their professional uh, fairs. And we have uh, commercial arbitrage also in build uh, in the system and uh, Soyuz expertise services. So that's the kind of a whole complex of assistance and supporting businesses also while they are going abroad. And that is bilaterally. If, for example, uh, foreign partners or companies are willing, you know, to set up the business in Russia or find the proper partners, you are very welcome uh, yeah. to use our possibilities, to use our representation offices, which exist in London, in uh, in Milano, in uh, Brussels. So you are very welcome. Okay. Well, I would say uh, congratulations with the new project. Thank, Thank you. you. Starting tomorrow. Um, I wish you all success with the Thank world. You. And uh, have a nice day here at the fair. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You.